All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis. Today is May 29, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Guys, we got some breaking news updates, and uh, I just received this notification like five minutes ago, and it says here, it felt like an earthquake. SpaceX prototype Starship blows up in massive explosion day ahead of manned launch. Wow. Um... Uh, this is really shocking here, guys. Uh, I know there's a video here I want to play for you, but uh, many residents felt the ground shake. This thing just literally blew up. Uh, so there was a huge flame. Um, just people were in shock. Uh, like I said, many residents felt it. I'm, uh, again, I'm going to play this video. So uh, once again, guys, this video is going to be a little disturbing. So make sure that uh, your kids is not around. Um, I don't know if anybody got hurt, but uh, once again, we're going to get to all these uh, breaking news updates. So just give me a second. Set up the microphone. I don't know, but that doesn't seem to be oxygen, right? Yeah, I believe it. I mean, if it was, if it was methane, it would be igniting in the flare, correct? Uh, I don't want that to be. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh. Rest, rest in peace, SN4. That would rest in peace. That's 10 four. That's what I heard. Rest in peace. That's 10 four. I don't know, but that doesn't seem to be oxygen, right? Yeah, I believe it. I mean, if it was, if it was methane, it'd be igniting in the flare, correct? Uh, I don't want that to be. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, rest, in, rest in peace. That's 10 four. That was not nominal. Wow. Wow. Um, once again, guys, so we're going to uh, see what's going on here. Uh, Elon Musk, uh, your rocket just blew up. And uh, guys, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, they were going to send two astronauts uh, out there. But uh, again, there was bad weather, so uh, it was canceled. Uh, tomorrow, they're going to reschedule it at 3.36 p.m. Eastern time, I think. So uh, you got to ask yourself... Uh, the astronauts, they seen this video. They're like, um, okay, um, I have second thoughts, okay? Uh, so, once again, let's see what's going on here. Before I start, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And, again, if you guys want to support us, the links are in the description box. Okay, so, in honor, uh, horribly, spectacular failure with the added bad timing of coming almost exactly 24 hours ahead of SpaceX and NASA's uh, reschedule attempt to make history by launching two astronauts into Earth. Earth orbit as part of work on the commercial crew program set for 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, guys, so the time for tomorrow is 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, uh, May 30th. All right, so Saturday weather permitted. The Raptor engine and SpaceX star Starship SN4 prototype blew up on its test stand in Boca Chica, Texas. So SpaceX just experienced the biggest explosion yet at its Texas site where it's testing prototype for a Mars rocket, the Atlantic Marina Korean reported Friday afternoon. A resident who lives nearby just two miles away said it felt like an earthquake. She added, uh, truly apologize, I say Korean, it's Corin. So Corin noted that at this point it doesn't appear anyone in the surrounding community was hurt in a massive blast which shook the area for miles. All right, so that's a good sign. Nobody was hurt. There's a possibility some windows were shattered. Uh, a lot of people were kind of, uh, you know, shocked. What was that? An earthquake? Uh, again, the explosion. I could imagine the explosion was really loud. So once again, guys, uh, as of now, nobody was hurt. The explosion, which involved a bright fireball ripping high into the air with rocket debris flying, occurred about two minutes after the engine test fire run had been completed. It happened at 1.49 Central Time and set off a flurry of commentary over the safety of tomorrow's launch, with humans carried to space. So let's pray for these two astronauts that everything goes well. So how anyone can lack confidence in Tesla conman Elon Musk is beyond me. Wikipedia says 
He is an aircraft engineer, like Elizabeth Holmes is a doctor. FFS. If you can't trust Elon or the internet, then who can you really trust? Here's another video, guys. I think it's the same one, if I'm not mistaken. Of、uh, flight loads allows them to simplify Raptor a little bit. So more data is more better, and it's only going to mean that we're progressing towards the hop. And oh wow, look at that! Look at that. That's new. That is very new. I don't think we've seen that before. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how normal that is. Wow. I wonder if maybe a hose popped out or something, and we're just seeing an uncontrolled vent. I don't know, but that doesn't seem to be oxygen, right? Yeah, I believe. I mean, if it was if it was methane, it'd be igniting in the flare, correct? Uh, I don't want that to be. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh. Rest in, rest in peace, SN4. That was not nominal. Wow, so、uh, that is、uh, again that's something that、uh, people don't、uh, people don't want to see. All right, so、uh, the test at first appears successful, but then it ruptured in a spectacular fiery explosion. So, Tech、uh, Crunch bring us some of the following details of the prototype explosion as follows: This was a test in the development of Starship and a new spacecraft that SpaceX has been developing in Boca Chica. Eventually, the company hopes to use it to replace its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket, but Starship is still very early in its development phase, whereas those vehicles are flight proven multiple times over. SpaceX had just、uh, secured FAA approval to fly a Starship prototype for short suborbital.、Uh, suborbital. Truly apologize about that word.、Uh, test flight. So the goal was to fly this SN4 prototype for short distance following static、uh, fire testing, but that. Clearly, won't be possible now, as the vehicle appears to have been completely destroyed in an explosion following Friday's test. So, prior stress tests of Starship prototype have ended in similar disaster as well, but this one comes at a moment national attention has been glued to the NASA SpaceX partnership, given the manned Crew Dragon launch Saturday. The weather is still not looking ideal at this point. Not looking good for Elon Musk. I mean, again, guys,、uh, you know, it, it, I mean, mistakes happens. You know,、uh, so again, this happens to a lot of people. So、uh, Elon Musk is like, boy, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of bad stuff right now. So when you realize your wallet was on the rocket, hmm. All right, though a prototype. And not the same rocket that would be used tomorrow. It can't be at all comfortable,、uh, comforty、uh, to be a SpaceX NASA astronaut scheduled for liftoff tomorrow, as many have already observed. So Pablo Escobar, blue check, tweeted out: "Imagine being a SpaceX NASA astronaut that's scheduled for liftoff tomorrow and watching this happen today." That's got to be a different kind of anxiety. This is a prototype rocket, not the one in use tomorrow, but still, with the emoji face of scared.、Um, so once again, guys, I already played that video, so let's skip it. It's no doubt takes the anxiety over tomorrow's launch to a different kind of level. Post explosion live feed. All right. So once again, nobody was hurt. A lot of people were shook. Elon Musk left his wallet in that、uh, in that prototype、uh, SpaceX, whatever that name is. But、uh, um, at the very end,、um, that's going to cost. That's going to cost. The most important thing is nobody was hurt. But a lot of people were kind of worried and saying, "What was that blast?"、Uh, the ground is shaking. Well, again, that was the SpaceX prototype Starship that blew up in a massive explosion.、Um, so once again, guys.、Uh, Um, they are trying to build something to replace the Falcon Nine. Supposedly, the SpaceX prototype Starship is something that they are building、uh, in order to、uh, 
step foot on Mars. So once again, uh, this type of stuff do happen. Uh, it's going to, uh, I don't know if it's going to cost Elon Musk money, but once again, like I said, it happens. The thing is, from what I heard in this article, nobody was hurt, but people reported feeling the ground shake. There's a possibility windows were shattered. Elon Musk, uh, you're going to have to pay for them windows too. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, uh, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number two, 3432 U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to give your life to Jesus Christ, email me. My email is in the description box. And again, uh, for those of you that want to support this channel, the links are also in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.